Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. And of course, today we are going to take a look at these Luigi Wi-Fi routers. I have one, not two, but three Wi-Fi routers from Luigi. So thank you Luigi for sending this one to us so that I can share these Wi-Fi routers, what they can do and try to give you some recommendations where you're going to use this one. Because of course, each one of these has their own use case scenarios. Later on, if you go across Luigi Wi-Fi routers, at least you know what these Wi-Fi routers are capable of. So of course, you jump in and let's try to dissect and give you information about these Wi-Fi routers. Okay, let's jump into the technical specifications and compare these three Wi-Fi routers. Now, let's start with the RGEW1200. Physically, you can see that it has four antennas and this basically has uh, 0.22 kilograms, which is basically light. It is the lightest among the three and it uses the technology of Wi-Fi 5 standard, okay? Now, this is a dual band, of course, and the 2.4 gigahertz goes 300 megabits per second, while the 5 gigahertz goes for 867 megabits per second. Now, the recommended users for this Wi-Fi router is 24 users. The LAN ports of this is basically three, and it is a megabit ports, okay? Take note of that. Moving on to the next Wi-Fi router, the RGEW1200G Pro. Now, comparing with the antennas, this actually has six. Basically, it would give an advantage of broadcasting signals, and they basically use the same Wi-Fi standard, which is Wi-Fi 5. Now, a little bit of a boost with the 2.4 gigahertz because it goes 400 megabits per second as compared to 300 megabits per second, while the 5 gigahertz is the same, which is 867. Now, of course, this is dual band. Now, going to the recommended users, this is 32. Now, one of the key difference here is the interface, wherein this has a gigabit Ethernet port, which is also 3. Now, jumping on to this RGEW800GX Pro, this is already Wi-Fi 6 standard, the latest Wi-Fi standard that was released. Now, of course, as you can see, it has four antennas and it has basically same weight, 55 kilograms with the um, RGEW1200G Pro. Now, here's the big bump up in the technical specifications. The 2.4 gigahertz is basically 574 megabits per second, a big bump. At the same time, the 5 gigahertz is 1,201 megabits per second or we say it as 1.2 gigabits per second. That's a very big boost, right? Now, going on to the Ethernet ports, this is also gigabit, but plus one more port. So it has one more port than both earlier Wi-Fi routers. Of course, the more advanced technology that comes with this one is beamforming and OFDMA. Of course, the recommended users is up to 48, which basically doubled the first Wi-Fi router, which is very good. So which one of these three Wi-Fi routers do I recommend for you to buy, right? Now, let's make things clear here, guys. If budget is not a problem, definitely go for the 1800GX Pro because it has the latest Wi-Fi technologies built with this one. Now, of course, if you have budget constraints, it's just a matter of choosing between both of this one. If you are going to add more cash for this one, for this RGEW Pro or the RG RGEW1200. Well, of course, this 1200 series here is the most basic of all the three. So basically, this is the most affordable Wi-Fi router you can get. Now, having that said, let's jump into more of the cool features of this Wi-Fi router, especially if they work together as one, all right? So let's go ahead and configure this one. I have already powered them up right out of the box, so no configurations. And I'm going to use my phone right here. So I have the Ruji Rii, that's for the cloud management that's being given by um, Ruiji for free. You can manage all your um, Ruiji network devices. And then we have the Rii router, wherein this is directly for the Rii Wi-Fi router. So I'm going to open the Rii router. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 
this Wi-Fi router, the 1800. So I'm going to add that one and I'm going to just like go ahead and create a network. Then power on the router, connect to the one port. Okay, I have already done that one. I'm just going to go for next. So um, as simple as that. And then I'm going to go to the, um, go to Wi-Fi list. So that I'm going to change my connection to this Wi-Fi router. So I'm going to go that because I'm connected to the Starlink. I'm using Starlink. If you try to see this one, there's the SB356. You can check that one at the bottom of the Wi-Fi router wherein it means to say that this is the Wi-Fi router that we are using. So this uh, 1800 uh, GX Pro is the SB356. I'm going to connect to this one. Uh, by default, this doesn't have any Wi-Fi password. So once I'm connected, I'm going to go back to the app. Now the app is going to go like waiting for the Wi-Fi router, waiting for a connection. I'm just going to go and wait for that. Okay, yeah, we're connected. Oh, there you go. So the first thing it's going to ask us is try to set up a Wi-Fi password. So I'm just going to go here and say Ruigi um, T-Pro. Okay, T-Pro, so we can see. And then password, I'm just going to make it uh, simple. Keep the management password consistent with the Wi-Fi password, yeah, so that we are not going to forget it, right? I'm going to be disconnected because, of course, we changed the uh, uh, the SSID. So I'm going to check that one, make sure that we are going to get connected again. So we should be able to see Ruigi. There you go, Ruigi T Pro. I'm going to connect, and definitely is going to ask for my password. So I'm going to input the password I've created. Okay, joining. All right, let's go back to the app, Rie. Okay, so I can see my device right here. So the good thing here is you can manage this one with your phone because if you are in the app, you can go ahead and try to check which one, what are the features that they can do. But right now, one of the cool features that really amazes me is this button here. So it has a button that you press this one, what's going to do is scan if there are other Wi-Fi devices, Ruigi Wi-Fi devices, and they can be converted into access points, right? So both of this one actually have that one also. We have the pairing here, but I want, to, I want this one to be the main Wi-Fi router. So both of these ones, I'm going to remove the cables so that there will be no cables. On my app that you can see there, there's only one that's connected to the app. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button here and it's going to scan the network and add both of this one wirelessly. And that's one of the cool features. So I'm going to press that one. Um, it's going to do some blinking on the light here. And then what's going to do is they are trying to connect with each other. And I'm we are going to see this one in the app right away. So no, no cables connected. So while waiting for the other one, I don't know if that's going to connect or not, but uh, hopefully it's going to connect later. I want to do a speed test with this Wi-Fi router here. Open up this speed test, then I'm using Starlink, so the ping is a little bit high, 41, and our ping is going over 200. So I'm getting the max out of the Starlink. All right, that's cool. Upload, that's given that the upload speed is lower than the download. I'm just going to jump into the cloud um, uh, management app so that we can see, all right? So I'll go here and try to add a project. I'm just going to refresh this one. Am I logged in? Yeah, am I logged in? So uh, you can see here right away that um, on the cloud app, it's basically synchronized with uh, what I already did with the uh, earlier with the other app. So if I'm going to go here, there are more things that we can do um, in terms of um, uh, functionality wise. All right. So basically, it's not yet connected. Hopefully, we can connect it later on. Let's try this one with the cable. So here we go. I connected them directly to this one. So as you can see, the mapping is already shown here via cable. Now let's jump into my computer so that we can see more of this because 
we are a bit limited of the visibility that we can see right here. You just simply go for Ruigi Cloud here and you should be able to see that one. Okay, so if you try to go to the cloud on the web GUI, you can see more here. So if you try to see, I have already created this one on my phone. So if I'm going to click here, you can see my connections, right? And then in the devices, you can see more details about this one. There are a lot of features that I've seen so far here on the cloud management app, right? Though um, you can see smart config, diagnostics, network wide, a bunch of things you can do with the Ruigi network devices. But since we are on our uh, Wi-Fi router, I just want to focus more on the things that I like about it. So here I can go directly here and create a tunnel. Then even if I'm not in my network, you can see that I'm, I'm doing, I'm connecting to this one via cloud. Now what happens here is it's going to create a connection between uh, what my connection right now and to the specific Wi-Fi router that I have in my house. So <laughs> that's really cool. So you can see this one. This is the local router that I have. Upgrade later. And you can see more of the status here like WAN, uh, which one is active. You can see that these uh, three LANs here are um, not active because nobody is connected to it. And you can see the details about this one. And one more thing, so that it's better to see, I just want to go here because it seems like this is the master router. I'm just going to go eWeb, then create a tunnel. And then you can see I already managing this Wi-Fi router, the other one, and I can still open the other one. Since I do not need this one, I want the other one, I'll just go like that. And you can see details also here of how they are connected, right? And that's pretty cool because configuring it remotely on a very simple uh, web GUI is very, very useful. If you are in the networking industry, this is very useful. So you can see this one. I have two of the uh, Wi-Fi routers here. You can see that the master is this um, 1800GX Pro and then you can reboot, manage also these ones. Um, if you've been in the networking industry, this would be like, wow, an eye opener for you guys. So going back here, I can close this one. And um, one more thing here that I like is when you click on this, it will give you a data analytics of each of the devices that you have. So you can see here, uh, very intuitive, very informational um, data analytics. If you're trying to troubleshoot and gather some data, which is very, very cool. Okay, so anyways, guys, that's all about the functionality that I can share it with you with the moment. I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, share this with your friends. Bye.